Good day, everyone. You are welcome to Science Explained. Today, we want to have a look at a topic, or rather, some questions on a topic titled Gas Pressure. Gas Pressure. The question is written on the board. I would like to pause the video for you to give it a try. I'll be back in a jiffy. Alright. At the end of watching this video, if you are impressed with the teaching and you appreciate the quality, please do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel for subsequent release of videos. Before I start solving this problem, there is need for me to let you know that pressure has a relationship with height and depth. Pressure is related to height and depth through which it is acting. First and foremost, there is need for you to know that pressure increases with depth. Pressure increases with depth while it decreases with height or altitude. Pressure increases with depth but decreases with height or altitude. Meaning that atmospheric pressure at the bottom of a mountain will be higher than at the top of the mountain because of the depth. Please take note of that. Number two, it is important you know that volume is area times height or length whichever the case is volume of a gas can be calculated using area times length or area times height or the column of that gas though generally in mathematics volume is area times height or area times length All right, the diagram we are seeing on the board is the interpretation of the question. This is the initial position of the tube, where it is vertically held, and the uppermost end is opened, which is here. That means this is where atmospheric pressure is entering the tube. But in Roman figure 1 question, we are told that it is held horizontally. That means atmospheric pressure will be entering through here. While in Roman figure 2 is... Sorry? Okay, I think this has to be downward. Yes. All right. Roman figure 2 says the tube is vertical but the open end is underneath so you can see that the open end is facing down here that means this is where atmospheric pressure is entering through it's going up this way so it is this diagram i'm going to interpret to solve the given problem according to boyce law the volume of a fixed mass of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure while the temperature remains constant. So that means we are going to have P1, V1 equals to P2, V2 to answer Roman figure question 1. Now, P1 has to do with the diagram we are looking at here because this is the initial position 
of the tube. That means P1 will be equal to the atmospheric pressure entering the tube plus the pressure exerted by the mercury on this air column. You can see that the air column is exerting pressure on this air here. So it means that the total pressure exerted on the air column here will be addition of atmospheric air pressure entry through here and the pressure due to the mercury within this column of mercury. Therefore, our P1 will be 76 centimeter mercury that is given as the atmospheric pressure plus the column of mercury which is 20. So that will give us 96 centimeter mercury. That's B1. B1 will be the length of the air column times area. Area times length of the air column, which is a 15. That will give us 15 centimeter, 15, sorry, 15 A centimeter cube. Do not forget that I told you at the beginning that volume equals to area times length. And the length of the air column here is 15. All right, let's now go to Roman figure 1 to get the information for P2 and V2, that is, final pressure and final volume. Okay, P2 will be this. If you look at this, it's horizontal. That means there is no depth. Therefore, atmospheric pressure remain the same. Yes, that means that will be... 76 centimeter of mercury. Why the volume, which is V2, will be equal to L2 times A. That is AL2. It is L2 we are looking for. The length of the air column that is trapped. So, By substitution, 96 times 15A equals to 76 times AL2. Making L2 the subject, L2 will be 96 times 15A over 76 times A. A represent the area of this tube. And don't forget, we are told that it's a uniform cross-sectional area tube. That means the area is the same throughout. That means A will cancel out A. And what would this give us? 18.9 centimeter. That is the length of the air column that is being exerted upon by the mercury or that is being trapped within here by the mercury thread. Now to answer question II, don't forget that the atmospheric pressure is entry from underneath that means it's moving up and i told you at the beginning that pressure decreases with what with height that means the pressure that will be exerted on this air column within this that is trapped here will be lesser than the what atmospheric pressure because it's decreasing and it's going to decrease by the amount of um, mercury thread, pressure in the exerted by the mercury. But this time around, it is the air that is countering the what? The pressure of the air is countering the what? The effect of the atmospheric pressure. So that means 
our P1 remains what it is here. Yeah? That means P1 still remain 76 plus 20, which is 96 centimeter of mercury. And B1 still remains 15A centimeter cube. But P3 now will be 76 minus 20 because it's moving up. That means when it is passing through this mercury color, it's been decreased. That was if pressure is being decreased instead of increasing. It's been decreased by the amount of pressure within the what? The mercury here before it gets to the what? To the hair column here. Please take note of that. Pressure decreases with height. So that will give us 56 centimeter of mercury. So by doing the calculation as we did the other time, so V3 will be AL3. So it is L3 we are looking for. That means L3 will be equal to P1, which is a 96 times 15A, all over 56 times A. So let's see what A cancels A, and the final answer is 25.7. 25.7 centimeter. That is the length of the air column trapped here. Of course, it is more than in the first one. Why? Because if you look at this initial position, it is the mercury that is, and the atmospheric pressure that is exerting pressure on the air column here. That means it's being compressed here. Therefore, the higher the pressure, the lower the volume. That means the pressure acting on the air column here in the initial position is higher than the pressure acting on the air column here in this second position. That is the end of this question. If you appreciate the teaching, please do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel and as well share with others. See you in my next video. Bye for now.